small business corridor in South Philadelphia, already surviving the pandemic, now has a new problem to deal with, lingering road work. And Marcus, business owners are plain and simple, just fed up. Yeah, they're at their wits end with this. There's three things guaranteed in life, right? Death taxes and road work in Philadelphia. Take a look here on East Pass Junk where the road has been like this now for some six weeks. Business owners are fed up. They said it's affecting their bottom line. They're ready to get it fixed. I contacted the city and the streets department. It sounds like the pavement, the asphalt is finally on its way. People don't want to drive down here. East Pass Yonk is a thriving small business corridor once again after surviving mass shutdowns during the pandemic. But now a different challenge has hit the block, Philly City Construction. Our roads on East Pass Yonk have been ripped up for about six weeks now. Now, a site like this used to be rare on East Pass Yonk Avenue, a giant open space for parking. But local businesses tell me it's because these roads are so torn up that cars don't even want to visit down here, and that's affecting their bottom line. It's definitely been a drop in sales um, in June. I'm hope July is usually a slow month for everybody, um, so it's just kind of another like kick feeling. Christina Gaglianisi opened up her boutique clothing store for women two years ago and says this has had a negative impact on business similar to COVID, and she has the data to prove it. Even my reporting statistics show that I have more returning customers and less new customers in the last month. We've lost so much business. Rebecca O'Leary is the director of the East Passchunk Avenue Business Improvement District and says efforts to get communication from the city has been frustrating at times. We really wish that we just knew what was going on so we could tell our clients and our constituents. We reached out to the city to see what exactly the holdup is. Chief Highway Engineer Steve Lorenz got back to us saying paving these tight roads is challenging, but he also added paving will officially begin this week. If everything goes well, we'll be starting out there tomorrow, uh, if not, definitely Friday. I'd say two to three days to uh, pave because it starts down at Broad Street, Broad and McKean, and then it goes up to Tasker. O'Leary is hopeful it will in fact get done now, but the construction caused the cancellation of a major festival already, and she won't let that happen again. First inaugural East Pass Young Music Festival on September 10th. If I have to pave the streets myself, I will do that because we are going to have that event and it's going to be spectacular. I believe her. She really would get this uh, road done and finally paid. But here's the good news. You heard that tomorrow. Finally, asphalt is beginning to be laid down here on this street. Head to Fox29.com. We have a list of all these local businesses here. They've really suffered a lot the past six weeks. This is standard construction. They said four to six weeks is normal for a neighborhood street to get repaved. So nothing out of the ordinary here, but it still hits them in that pocketbook. So head to our website, find a local business, come out and support them this weekend it would go a long way i know that and there are lots of great shops and restaurants there marcus too so definitely worth making a trip there thank you